it is time to find your best you and Michelle. We have just the person to That's do it. That's right. It always starts with you. There it is. Sherry Clark <laughs> is here for our visit with Fork in the Road to find out which way we're going to go this time around. <laughs> of course, with the weather that we've had uh, the last couple of days, uh, is, this is awesome. Uh -huh. You know, you say keep, keep it coming. Uh, keep bringing on these kind of weather. Everyone weathers, seems kind of days. a little funnier. Yeah. That's a good thing. And with the sun shining and the weather yesterday getting up to 72 degrees, we found no. out Taylor mentioned that yesterday uh, people getting in the mood for uh, warmer weather drinks and one of those warmer weather drinks happened to be smoothies and I was just telling Michelle I got into a smoothie kick about a week ago when things just start going back up again but my, my, my smoothie kick hasn't kicked in yet yeah. <laughs> but I'm, this, I'm sure that. it will though right but my now. smoothies are rather boring because uh, I don't really get super creative I, I hate the frozen fruit you put it in a blender, okay, or one of those bullets. I have a bullet. Yep. And a little bit of either milk or juice, and that's it. Nothing else. I don't add anything else to it. You ready to get jiggy yes. with it? Mm -hmm. Show us a better way. Make a Show us a better way, please, please. <laughs> okay. What can we do to, to kind of ramp this up a little bit? Let's deconstruct the smoothie first, and okay. let's talk about what it is that we need and what we need to consider. So the first thing we need to consider is the equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any blender will do. Right. This is a Vitamix. It's my travel blender. You know. Oh my God. This the is only, like the, the only woman I know who has a travel, travel blender. The Vitamix <laughs> is, is kind of the, the, the Cadillac of, it is. of blenders. It's a good one. It, really it is, is a, good a great one. Yeah. one. But you don't need that. You could do any kind of a blender will work and a, a bullet the will bullet, work yeah, I have fine. a bullet yeah anything you, so that's the good news so you don't have to invest in a lot of things first order of business that you're going to want to do is think about the base the base is the liquid part of the smoothie and you indicated you use milk sometimes milk or juice juice yeah, yeah, okay yeah. there's lots of other things you can do fresh juice is going to be my favorite okay. that's that's the most nutritious or a homemade nut milk but we can also use something like a coconut water like we have up there Over in the here? front yes or we could use a tea so think about a tea? brewing Ooh, a tea. tea base. Too. Tea base, and this one, this, there's a vanilla bean macaroon. That would be a really nice base for a smoothie because it adds a little bit of sweetness. It adds a mm. vanilla flavor and whatnot. So, the, so you, you know what I use one time. This is serious. Last summer, I actually used a sports, beer. A sport? No, not beer. It foams <laughs> up too much. Uh, not that I tried it, but a sports drink. I use a sports drink for oh, a little okay. bit of a, of a base in there too. I'm not a sports drink fan, right. but knock yourself out. Okay. okay. So, so think about the different liquids that you can use. That's one option. Then the second layer of smoothie if you want is something to thicken it. So on um, the tray here we have in the front there's avocado. Mm -hmm. Is one thing you don't usually think of, right. but it's a mellow it's a nice flavor. And, and mm -hmm. thank you and your avocado, uh, getting avocados involved in our diets because now that is a regular part of our shopping list. Now. And they're on sale right now. I've noticed that they're cheap all over town, so I've got a whole fridge full of them. I'm going to be mm, guacamole. Now's the time to get them. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. So an another thing, I use yogurt, but I use a non dairy yogurt. So I just wanted to remind viewers that you can use regular yogurt if you, if you do eat dairy, but if you're trying to avoid it for whatever your reasons might be. There are non-dairy alternatives. That one's made out of coconut. And speaking of coconut, coconut, fresh, fresh. coconut is another great thing to add. Thick viscosity adds a little bit of fat. Really good. And for those people that haven't purchased a coconut lately, this is what they look that like. That is now. exactly okay. what they look like. Yes. And you wouldn't want to get the brown hairy guys because they're not going to be easy to open. Right. Next layer up, we're going to talk about sweeteners, sweeteners or flavor enhancers in general. So we could use honey if, if you're not vegan. Um, you could also use, this is a um, ginger syrup, which is really nice and tasty. It adds a little bit of a ginger Ooh. flavor. Um, maple would syrup nice. would also work if you're looking out for agave. your... Agave? Agave will work as well. Um, this is stevia, and this is a flavored stevia. I like the, to use the vanilla one in particular because it goes good with fruits. Now, I want you to talk about uh, stevia here real quick. As someone asked us last time, you mentioned it. They said, oh, I thought Sherry doesn't like artificial sweeteners. Ah, it's a natural sweetener. Mm. Stevia is a plant. Plant. You can grow that in your garden. This yes, year. you can. Okay. I grow it. I love it. And, the, and the, the green leaves you can snip off and throw into your blender, too. It's a little bit of a different okay. taste. but So you, it comes liquid powder, and also you can do the plant. You could sweeten with my favorite thing, dates. dates. Mm -hmm. Fresh, use anytime we can use a fresh um, uh, product rather than buying something processed, we're better off. And then let's talk about other flavor, flavors that you might not have thought of. A lemon. If you take a lemon zester and you rub the lemon across the zester, you can get, that's mm -hmm. a beautiful that's a nice enhancement. Thing. Or you can use essential oils. And this is a lemon essential oil. One or two drops. Go that's easy it. on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you want to be sure you're using a pure essential oil. Not that's fragrance. That's right. Oh. You want to eat something that it's okay for you to ingest mm -hmm. right. and to eat. So 
Then the next the final thing that you want to do, and most people will do this, is buy a package of some kind of a frozen fruit. Right. If you're mm -hmm. doing a fruit smoothie, this is j j blueberry. And the thing is, you don't need to buy the frozen fruit uh, that says this is a fruit smoothie blend of frozen right. fruit. Right. Okay, exactly. because they charge you pay more a little for extra that. for that. Yeah, you That's pay a little exactly extra for that. Just right. buy frozen fruit. <laughs> That's exactly. And and also, let's get adventuresome. You know, you can do blends, or you can do a mix of frozen and fresh, and what not so I got crazy for you guys today uh -oh. all right so here is this tray has all of the ingredients that are in the smoothie that I made for you all right so, so you're explain frozen. what we have you're over frozen there was... it's not frozen that is actually refrigerated oh it is okay and what that is is that is sweet, sweet potatoes, potatoes that I bought and I I bought at the store because they are, you cook the sweet potatoes before you put them in mm -hmm. the smoothie and I didn't want to cook so okay. I bought them already cooked you could also have bought um, a sweet potato puree would have also okay. worked right. so you could buy those um, for the fat content I used a little bit of cashew butter oh I love that uh-huh for the liquid I used orange juice fresh squeezed, fresh squeezed. to make it thicker also I used a um, a banana, and that's what I'm kind of pointing to here. The banana is frozen, and that makes it cold. And then to season it, and to, or to flavor it, in the front I used a date for sweetener, and I also used, yep, you're right, Some the cinnamon. cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So I made that up for you, and uh, I'm gonna let you taste it. Okay. Lou, here's okay. one for you. Mm -hmm. Cheers. And I think you're gonna really enjoy Pinky this. Up. Pinky, Pinky up. Pinky up. <laughs> What I like about this one is it's thick, it's rich. That it's is really good. Just the right of the sweetness. I like the cinnamon in there too. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm trying to read your. That face. is real. It, it is really <laughs> good. I am not a big smoothie drinker, but I, I, I am. Um, well, probably the only smoothies I've had um, that aren't uh, have tequila in watermelon based <laughs> are, are hers, and they're always good. Yep. This is very nice. But for this some reason, like they taste milkshake. better when you make them. This tastes more like a milkshake. Seriously, right? It does. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And what I like about it is, it's a, it's not fruity. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not blueberry. It's not strawberry. It's not banana. Well, you just liked that. Too. Would you I recommend this gone. as? Uh, Meal snack replacement or a meal replacement. It could okay. be either. If you're going to have it as a snack, I would make a smaller one. Okay. Um, when we're looking here at the That's tray, pretty concentrated, isn't it? There's some dense denseness in calories mm -hmm. here, so in part because of the fat content, in part because of the sheer quantity of materials that we've got in right. there. So yeah, be thinking that through. But I, it's a meal replacement for me. If you had 12 or 14 ounces, mm -hmm. it's got some stick to itiveness to right. it. Yeah, and I what like it. What if you had some leftover? What's the best way to does this last in the fridge then for? I would put it in the fridge. If you do, it. some people add flax seeds for, to their smoothies to make them thick. If you add flax seeds to your smoothie, put it in the fridge. It's going to turn into. I say want to grow. I say it's yeah, going to grow. It's going to turn like oatmeal, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to get too thick. And the same thing with with chia seeds. Maybe if you have some right. chia seeds, put them in there. Then you have yourself like a pudding. Exactly. Okay. So be thinking about what's in there. That will also tell you how long it will keep. One of the things that I really love to add to smoothies, and I didn't today, partly because I, I knew it would turn an ugly color is to put some greens or to put some herbs or to put some sprouts in there right. to give it a little extra nutrition mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily want to do that if you're if you want it to look pretty right so but this is jam-packed full of flavor right here. It's oh, no question about and that. And nutrition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of different things in here that have added to your day. Nothing this artificial. Is very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, very, you did. It, I will. I, I swear, every, there, every smoothie you've ever made me that I go, oh, mm -hmm. I drink it and enjoy it, and it's delicious. And then so. one of the things that you mentioned here, uh, I just want to touch on briefly here, uh, with your bananas. You, you mentioned that you had a frozen banana. Tell everybody about your banana trick when it comes to getting bananas. When they go on sale, buy a bunch of them up and then leave them on the counters. Leave said. them on the counter let them turn black mm -hmm. then you peel them put them on a plate in the freezer just in the plate let them get frozen and then put them in your fro in your bag and mm -hmm. the reason that you're not throwing them in the bag first is you'll end up with a all banana together it's you like the clump, berries like right. them out okay. on a tray first you, and then break they're them, not break all them apart together. before you freeze them that way you have them in, in, uh, in, no, in easy handleable exactly yeah. they're serving size little pieces right. as opposed it, to it's a great idea a banana. I've done that ever since you told us so oh, that's so now great. this recipe i do have this available on your website yes. if you want to find out more information it's not on the website but if you email me at info at fork-road.com you know i share yeah She's quick to get back to you. And if people have any <laughs> other questions for you, is that the same place to go? Then you could visit my website, and that would be uh, fork-road.com, and you can see it right there on the screen, and there's all kinds of goodies, and 
You, I think you'll enjoy it. That'll work. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, Smoothie you. Queen. As always. <laughs> you never welcome. disappoint. <laughs> All right. And sometimes I'm ooh, a little leery, but never mind. And that's almost I got you. Good. It's good. 19